My name is Frederick Cox, and I am a uh, acting division chief of the Protection and Decon Division in the Research and Technology Directorate at ECBC. The Protection and Decon Division and the uh, CBR filtration team, the Chemical Biological Radiological Filtration Team, um, that I'm also a part of, we design protection solutions for the soldier and advance the technology that assists in protecting the soldier. So such things as filters, decontamination solutions, masks, uh, we either improve the existing materials or design new ones. So that extends from both individual protection, as I said, the masks and the filters, but also to collective protection for buildings, vehicles, tanks, and things like that. From a soldier's perspective, the most important thing is the burden on them. And the burden is, is somewhat uh, nebulous, but it's the collective impact that it takes for the soldier to use that equipment. So for example, on the mask, uh, is the mask heavy? If he puts it on, is it gonna be cumbersome? Is it gonna restrict his field of vision? Is it going to restrict his motion? Is it going to interfere with uh, sighting a gun? All that adds up. And uh, for example, in a hot environment, uh, that can impact the heat, how much heat load is on the soldier, whether he's sweating or not. Uh, seemingly small things add up to make a critical impact on a soldier and sometimes can prevent him from doing his mission, whether it's firing a rifle or uh, performing some sort of manual task. So uh, for the warfighter, the, the, our primary objective is to reduce that burden, and not just physically, but also logistically. So make things last longer, make them cheaper, easier to use. Uh, of course, the research, like any research, is challenging in and of itself, but taking, in some instances, what is very uh, basic research and doing that with highly toxic chemicals that most academic labs, and even industry labs, never experience um, is a daily challenge. And again, doing that safely is, is, is really the, the key challenge. For someone who's interested in pursuing a career here at ECBC or any of the defense labs, uh, first thing from a scientific perspective, it's persistence is key. It's a very long road when you're going through school, um, even when you start here, learning the paces. It's a different environment than, say, a university or industry. Learning the environment um, and sticking it out is key. 